Hi everyone, today we're looking at how Sonic makes his pursuit to Death Egg Zone. So all I really needed to do was make the ship rise up and leave the atmosphere and move into space. This was achieved by printing out two A4 sheets of paper, sticking them together because I didn't have an A3 printer, and moving it downwards. And we get that really, really cool effect with very little effort, really. And here's where it got fun, because I wanted to make an effect of like him looking like he's struggling to hold on, and that was just from shaking the ship. And then we had to get him docking in the docking station. This was extremely difficult because he got caught so much. And then before you know it, hey-ho, we're in Death Egg Zone. So for this, I just wanted a panning shot of showing the area. It was quite cool to do this, I think, because it's nothing like you see in the game. And then I needed some moving stars in the background. And this was achieved just by a sheet of paper and putting it towards me. However, I needed to move the camera and move the paper both while doing that. It was a bit tricky. And then, I didn't think this would be so annoying, but it really was. I had to make the little flap open up, which is show Robotnik's face. And it got caught all the time. It was so difficult. I couldn't seem to get it right. And it would move the paper as well each time I put it up. So I had to hold it down as best I could and then pull up the flap. Okay, here we go. You can do this, Bill. Let's do it. Come on, hold the paper down. But yeah, there we go. Oh, no, you boozed it up. Oh. So now we confront my favorite character in pretty much any Sonic game. I always called him Metallics because I read the comic book back in the day, but his name is actually Metal Sonic and you probably definitely know that. But I had to get him spinning around and that was the aid of a glue stick, putting it through the paper and using a drill. But one of the main problems of this was getting him to stay on there because they keep on flying off. And then also get him to spin in the center because if we don't get him in the center, he'll spin round strangely, if you know what I mean, a bit like that. Oh God, sometimes the things I do just for a bit of fun. Okay, so here we go. It looks like, looks pretty good. Let's spin up. Oh my God, that goes really fast. That's pretty cool actually. Yeah, it worked out quite well, really well. <laughs> it's nice to look back upon these things. See you next time. Your goodbyes! Stop the middle pin cushion! To shout to my patrons, the soldiers of cardboard, and also the captains of cardboard, Andrew Rysikos, Michael Heinisch, Ricardo, Ryan Bean, Paul Keward, Luke Cummings, and Mecha Master. And also, we have the commander of cardboard, Flying Torpedo Whale. And finally, the gods of cardboard, Me Machine Dean, and Michael Seguero. Thank you so much.